Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my must-have drugstore products. I feel like I have a good mix of high-end and drugstore products, and I feel like I know pretty well which ones I prefer. So, today I thought I'd bring you some of my favorite drugstore products. And these aren't like all my favorites. Some stuff I just haven't repurchased, but I'm not gonna include it in this video. So if you wanna see a part two to this video, let me know. Or maybe next time we'll do high end. <laughs> okay, so without further ado, let's just get into this video. So first off, I'm gonna do eyeshadow. Spice it up. And I have the Sonia Kashuk Ion Neutral Matte Palette. Sonia Kashuk has, in my opinion, some of the best matte drugstore shadows on the market. The drugstore is filled with shimmer shadows that work well, but the mattes are always like really, really bad in my opinion. So when who what you the wrong with it? I don't remember. Or maybe Kathleen Light because anything she says I get basically. But she recommended this. She said it was had one of the best formulas. So I got it, and they are really nice. You do get, they're a little on the tad powdery side, but for a drugstore, this is like the best of the best. Now that more, the, more drugstore companies are stepping up their game, so the matte shadows are getting better, but this just has a really nice range of like browns and everything you need. So if you're not like a hoarder, you just want just a nice little palette, that's not too much money so that you can basically do anything with, you know, do different looks with. This is the palette for you. You should go out and get it, like, right now, like, what are you doing? Click off, go to Target. Keeping on the eyeshadow tangent, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus, is it Photo Focus? Yeah, Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer is really good. The e.l.f. one. <laughs> The e.l.f. one. <laughs> oh bad, I don't like it at all. This is the only eyeshadow primer I found that works for me. You can also use concealer to prime your lids, but my, eyes, my eyelids are very oily, so concealer doesn't work and it always creases, so I have to use eyeshadow primer. And this is the only one from the drugstore that works for me. So this is obviously one of my must-haves, and it's like two or three dollars. It's like super cheap. You can't go wrong with it. Now, I'm going to do primer. And this is the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. And this is kind of like almost a dupe for the Benefit Professional. The only thing with this is I'm not like a silicone primer person. But this does the job for me. And it's what like out of all the drugstore primers I've tried, which are very few, this is the only one that I really like. And staying with Maybelline, we have Maybelline concealers. Maybelline concealers are so underrated, they're really good. Everybody here on YouTube talks about them all the time, and there's a reason why they have some of the best concealers ever. I don't have the better skin one, let's pretend it's right here. It's, but they're all really good, and I have the Fit Me, and I have the Instant Age Rewind, and they have like the better skin one too, there's a ton of them, and they're all super good. Next, we'll do blush, and this is it, one of the Wet n Wild Color Icon blushes, and these are really good. They changed their formula, it's a new formula, but the, it's still really good. I ha I used to have a different shade. I finished it like I hit pan on it, so I don't have it anymore. But that was a shimmer one, and this one's matte. It's in the shade Mellow Wine, and it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I'm wearing it today, actually. It's really nice, and I love Wet n Wild blushes. They're so good. And next, we have the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. This smells like a piña colada. It's so, um, it smells amazing. The little tab thingy broke on this, so like it literally, like, like it's broken. Which is 
fine, but still, you know, you're kind of like, ugh. And, but the packaging is like so bulky, so it doesn't fit in my makeup drawer. I have to like set it out because it's so fat. No discrimination, it's just larger than normal, so, you know, I can't fit it into my storage that well. But we can deal with it because it smells super good and it works amazing. And my last product or products that I'm going to talk about are the Essence Lip Liners. I have three of them right here with me. These are like a dollar and 29 cents. They're so cheap, but they're so creamy and so amazing. It is in pencil form, so you do have to sharpen it, which is can get really annoying really fast but they are so good. Some people are kind of like eating lip liners, they prefer lipstick, which is totally fine, but lip liners are always more long wearing, and so I just put them all over my lips, and I might put lip gloss on top, or just leave it like that, because they're so creamy, and they're so good. But anyways, that was my last product. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, and comment down below other stuff you want me to do, and be sure to subscribe before you leave. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys.